Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. I'm out here in Hurricane Nicole, and I want to show you how this $15 catch basin can save you so much money over installing a French drain. So can you see this catch basin right here? It's the same one with a green grate. Let me show you what happens during an event rainfall where we get two or three inches of rain in an hour. So during a huge rainfall, you can see how well the catch basin works. Look at that vortex. This is pulling all of the water from this area directly into the pipe. There is a French drain that's attached to this. But look at the surface water being carried away. This is the backyard, and it's attached to that same drain. Notice that there's very little movement back here. There is an extensive French drain back here, but there's no catch basins. Remember what a French drain is. So what is a French drain? A French drain is perforated pipe. See the holes at it? Pointing down into a base of gravel that allows the water to flood up into the system and be carried away. By adding the catch basin, now we can collect the surface water, and that's the bulk of the flood, as you saw. The backyard has French drain running all through it. See the holes? There's perforated pipe surrounded by gravel, also a fabric, but it's so slow to let the water in, it needs a catch basin. And whether or not you use a big 12 by 12, or a small six by six, you need a catch basin attached to your French drain. Probably one of the most common mistakes that people make is they add what's called a blind inlet. And a blind inlet simply means that they don't put a catch basin on the lines. And what they do is they set a grate across the top of the fabric encased pipe. All this does is allow all the debris, the sand, the silt, the clay to pack up against the fabric, not allowing any water into your system at all. A blind inlet is the most common mistake that people make when installing a French drain. If you're going to go through the trouble to add some type of inlet, add a catch basin, not a blind inlet. It does not work. Can you see how this blind inlet just does not allow any water into the system at all? Please don't use these type of things. Uh, it's the most common mistake that people make when installing a French drain. So when I first arrived here at the job site, you can see the catch basin was completely clogged with debris. This is pretty normal after a huge rainfall. And you can see the storm knocked down a lot of trees. But after it stops raining, usually the catch basin gets clogged. All you need to do is lift this off and it'll begin to drain. And what's really neat to look at is there's not any debris down in the drain. That grate stops all of the debris from getting down into your pipe, which is another misconception about adding a catch basin to your French drain. It is needed in order to solve your flood. So this is a really simple fix. This is called an atrium grate. And the atrium is just like it sounds. The atrium is just like that name. It allows debris to build up higher along the side of the grate, preventing it from getting covered with debris. Because the backyard is totally flooded, and there is a great French drain system here. We still need to drain this water. Otherwise, it's going to sit here for days and days. So basically, what I'm going to do is dig a hole, put a bucket and a sump pump in, and actually lift the water up, pump it out to this catch basin in the front where I know it's draining great. And we're just going to plug it in. You could, you could see it and hear it, but let's follow it around real quick. So this area, it's pretty flooded as you can see, and it's gonna probably take it about an hour. 
but we can follow this hose around. And again, wow, did that French drain work out here. You know, for I don't know how many inches we got here. Probably three to four inches of rain. The area is extremely dry. Yeah, there's you know a little water left, but remember it was a hurricane. Got the water pumping down into the French drain. Can you see it? Looking good. Let's go out here where it discharges so you can see it again. The water was probably clear up here to this bed and it's receded. This water goes to the St. John's River, but this is looking good. Oh yeah. Hard to see it, but there's, there's water coming out of here quite well. Looking really good. So whether you use a 6x6 or a big 12x12, 12 12, you need to attach this to your French drain. Remember the French drain has holes in the bottom of the pipe and it's surrounded by gravel, fabric around that, and that allows water, subsurface water, to rise up into your system and be carried away. But that's the underground water, the surface water is the bulk of the problem during an event rainfall. You must have a catch basin attached to your French drain. This is the discharge from the catch basin in the French drain. And this is the discharge when I added the sump pump to remove the water from the backyard because that water would sit there for days and days. You really need a catch basin on your French drain. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.